This year, major Negro riots have broken out in Detroit and Newark and about 80 cities and towns all over the country. Already it's become the worst crisis in the country since the Civil War. The despair is deep. The bitterness is wide in the ghettos of our nation. I will continue to raise my voice with all of my might against riots because I know that black rioting can mean black suicide. Don't point that gun at me! Don't point that gun at Don't point it at me! Don't point that gun at me! What must be said is that our nation's summers of riots are caused by our nation's winters of delay. Pillage, looting, murder, and arson have nothing to do with civil rights. We will not tolerate lawlessness. You go sit in front of your television set and listen to LBJ tell you that violence never accomplishes anything, my fellow Americans. But you see, the real problem with violence is that we have never been violent. We have been too nonviolent. I've decided to stick with love. And so I'm not gonna give you a motto, a preacher philosophy, burn, baby, burn. I'm gonna say, build, baby, build. Organize, baby, organize. Martin Luther King called me from Atlanta, and he said to me very directly, I need you to come on down here now, because this may be my last campaign, and we're going for broke. The Southern Christian Leadership Conference will lead waves of the nation's poor and disinherited to Washington, D.C. next spring. He said, let's go to Washington. We're going to Washington. Uh, if necessary, go to jail, uh, civil disobedience, and convince this Congress to shift from war in Vietnam to war in poverty. It was Marion Edelman who came to Martin with the concept of the Poor People's Campaign. I got called to Washington to testify about poverty and what was happening in Mississippi. This is an urgent situation which must be looked into and which must be met. In the middle of it all, I asked them to come and see for themselves. And Bobby Kennedy came with them. There is starvation and men and women who can't find jobs. And it's a reflection on all of us, the fact that you have young children in the United States at the present time with the wealthiest nation in the world who are hungry and their parents are hungry is uh, completely unsatisfactory. Robert Kennedy went back to Washington. I told him I was going to stop through Atlanta and see Martin, and he said, well, tell them to bring the poor to Washington. I went down to Atlanta and went to SCLC, and he was depressed. I mean, he was sitting in his office by himself, and I told him what Robert Kennedy said, he ought to bring the poor to Washington. And he lit up, and he just lit up. I think he was realizing that he was running out of gas. <coughs> and the attacks and the criticisms on him were getting more and more vicious. But he was really aware of the fact that we had not hardly raised the issue of poverty. We have to do it our own sense of dignity, our own self-respect, our own determination. But we can't do it if we don't give our all to it. Martin Luther King embraced the idea of the Poor People's Campaign, and uh, he wanted to move ahead with it. But initially, he did not have the support of his executive staff. People felt already committed to what they were working on at that time. From our perspective as organizers, it was... He was the pilot of the plane, but we were the ground crew. Without the ground crew, the plane could not leave the ground. 
given the realities of... Mothers King went on a fast to reunite people and get them to think collectively how they could participate. As we go into these communities... And they finally started coming aboard. We must remember that we are the custodians of a philosophy. 